takes 40 minutes for the oxygen to arrive. And it may be too late. Do you help me? Because I can't really get myself in there. Let's just let him quiet down here for a sec before I put a mask on. Are you, are you okay? Oh, okay? Okay. All right. Come on, calm down. Calm down. Okay, good breath. Good breath. Okay. You guys, go ahead and get yourself set up. Let's get going. After two hours, the team is only halfway down the cliffs and still 1,500 vertical feet above advanced base camp. If you keep going, this is not a good place to stop. Like, in the next 10 seconds would be f***ing great. Helping anyone down a mountain can be the last nice thing you do. High altitude rescues put everyone at risk. We need to come down that side. The primary insult to cerebral edema is lack of oxygen. Same thing that's causing me to be short of breath right now after hauling them down. So uh, we gave them a little dexamethasone to decrease the swelling and oxygen to stop the process. And uh, he's still a little out of it. He's, uh, he's, not, he's not a well man. It's taken the rescue team three hours to reach advanced base camp. Normally, a 45 minute descent. Now, move this way. Good one, Russ, exactly. At 21,000 feet, the man remains in critical condition. <laughs> probably get this collar off now. Just gonna have ultrasound here. Okay. Okay. We can't decide. You can see he's got a little bit of a wheeze and then crackle. So he has some pulmonary edema too, okay? Yeah, I'll feed him out of Keep reassessing his level of alertness. Uh, I still need that. Climbing Everest is a very, very dangerous game. It's dangerous for us, it's dangerous for the Sherpas, it's dangerous for other people. We're going to see much, much more of this happen before we finish this year with us or other teams. Um, it's a pretty stupid game to be playing. L.A. fireman Brett Merrill struggles for breath and fights for his dream. This is kicking my butt. Asthmatic climber Moans Jensen proves he's the strongest and fastest. Hey boys. Right now I'm looking at the summit. And boy, it's just huge and intimidating. Double amputee Mark Ingalls has a mechanical breakdown on a sheet of ice. 